Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Mandel, and this video is part of a hypnosis Q&A series. Today I'm going to be answering the question, do you have to believe in hypnosis for it to work? This is a really great question, and the answer is no. You no more have to believe in hypnosis for it to work than you have to believe in gravity in order to fall off a building. A lot of people seem to think that hypnosis is all just suggestion, and that it works by some sort of placebo effect. The facts are actually, as usual, quite different from what common knowledge would dictate. We now know that the process of hypnotic induction and the creation of trance causes specific changes to occur, not just in our psychology, but also in our physical bodies and our neurology as well, especially in the brain itself. In trance, a subject generally feels more relaxed and comfortable with a sense of well-being, but there are physical changes too that take place. Along with the calm restfulness that's concomitant with trance, the subject will probably experience a reduction in blood pressure, smooth muscle relaxation including the sclera of the eye, shifts in breathing, muscle twitches including the eyelids, and possibly time distortion and amnesia. The brain itself will show more right hemisphere activity and more trans-hemispheric function via the corpus callosum, permitting the hemispheres to talk to each other. And all of this occurs whether you believe in it or not, or are even aware that it's taking place. These are natural changes that are consistent with hypnotic trance. All you have to do is permit them to happen. I'm Dr. Mike Mandel, and this is the truth about hypnosis. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to get 20 videos just like this, visit MikeMandelHypnosis.com slash video and learn the truth about hypnosis.